taking action against the contractors who have not delivered in time? Have you written to the power center regarding the challenges? Have you got an appropriate responses? Has action been taken? Do we need to wait for three years down the road and the project is winding up? And you begin lamenting that, oh, now this is going back, this is going back, we are not able to absorb. Why? The deputy IGG, Dr. Patricia Chan Okiria, was in Lira City to monitor the progress of USMIT project. This one is two tanks, one is balancing tank. Upon visiting the site, Dr. Chan was dissatisfied with the report that the project was at 95% completion. What does the supervising engineer have to say about this mess, about the level of work, about the speed and timeliness? Because I'm standing, I know no miracle can happen in two weeks' time. The new city clerk, Cassandra Jones, Stephen tasked the city engineer and the project manager to respond to the numerous questions from Dr. Chan. The engineer explained that the delay was due to COVID-19, a rise in material prices and late releases. We were advised to do some contracting. They subcontracted parts of the work. Somehow, they subcontracted the work very well. But some of them also want to pay more allegiance to the people at the ministry and the experts of those who directly supervise the contracts on the ground. Because they think that is where they got the contract. They think that is where the good fathers are. The contractor and the consultant snubbed the heated feedback meeting. The junior staff who was present declined to speak. This prompted Dr. Chan to order for a comprehensive report on the overall project progress within four days. With a way forward and show me how, what it is they can do in two weeks' time to redeem that money. And people are not getting services they should be getting. Then I think my face needs to change instantly. There are even projects which have not yet been touched at all. So we are thinking, can there be a guarantee and works can go on? Earlier, the team from the IGG also interacted with officials from Lira District on the progress of parish development model. TAC is transparency, accountability and anti-corruption. And we are specifically monitoring transparency, accountability and anti-corruption in the government project of USMID and PDM and others like UGIFT as well. PDM is supposed to be for the beneficiaries through the circles. But facilitation, I advise that the district should plan and budget for it in their budget. But of course they have got this ambitious dream and I told them because government is having resource constraints, PDM will be implemented progressively with availability of resources. Ed Yolua, UBC News.